Welcome to Vanguard K9 TV. This is puppy protection training for beginners. <laughs> Going on. If you haven't reviewed our archive and figured out how to train your puppy for protection, well, you don't want to miss this episode. I'm Grandmaster Von the Muff. And here's Nicholas Muff. And we are VanguardK9.com. Dogs are utilized around the world for just about anything. They're being used by police, the military, and private owners. These animals are very important and a very important part of our life. But one of the most greatest attributes I can say that my dogs possess are civil drives, as well as all of the working drives, the play drives, the food drives, and the drives that we need to make these dogs great dogs. Everybody around the world calls me for dogs and puppies. It's true. Everybody, just about everybody but what do they really want they want a protection dog well we like social dogs that love people places animals and you can take them in every environment turn them on and turn them off that's what the, turn them off that's what the goal is here at vanguard k9 but what many people are unable unsuccessful and unable to to get in the end is that ending result or a great protection dog. Well, it starts with genetics. And after genetics, it starts from the day they're born with great puppy imprinting. And what we provide in this video is how to get a young dog that has had no protection training, no imprinting for biting uh, or grip work or nothing, no rag work, nothing at all. We're gonna show you what a dog looks like from day one when we decide to put protection work in him. And how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get the guy that's accredited for making all of the dogs that you see in just about every video that we've ever produced make these dogs bad dogs. From the time he was three, four years old, I'd like to introduce you the guy, the man with the plan. BK's newest basketball member, Mr. Whoa! You know you can do it, right? You think so? Yeah. What you gonna make him do? Make him a guard dog. Okay. Well, let's go do this. Just like obedience training, you want to build your puppy up. Well, we're going to digest that. This is Shaka. Shaka's had no training. So now we're exposing Shaka to what protection training is. We socialized him with people, places, and things, and all those things to make the on and off light bulb effect you get when you see the dogs like Quattro and Kodak and many others. Well, we're going to do just that today. Watch him. Watch him. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Watch him. When you start protection training, there's many ways that you can start. You can start with a little puppy if you're going into the sports sector uh, with a rag to teach him when you hear the whip crack. And a guy's going to come out with his toy to bite. And then you could do focus driving grip yourself. Uh, to to with a tuck toy to get him to learn how to grip and bite and then do it with the decoy. But what we're doing here is pure protection, training, tapping into the civil drives with no pressure from a distance, getting him to bark with an alert. This type of training is for a dog that we're not taking into the sports sector, that we want the dog to be real about the game and take the game serious. We're going to teach her alert and we're gonna bring the the, per, the the person in, which you can call a decoy or agitator, and build up the aggression. Now understand me, this type of training is serious, and the dog takes the game serious. 
It's a man stopper type game. Being able to read the dog is very Watch important. Him, boy. Watch him. Good boy. Good boy. We're gonna wait for a minute. Cause I think he smelt you and he know who you is now. Let's wait. Now, that type of bark was not a civil aggressive bark. That was a prey type of bark. And he kind of knew who Nicholas was. And Nicholas feed the dogs when I'm overseas and take care of him. So the dogs do love him. And they don't want to really hurt him. So they'll bark and you'll get a prey type of dog. And I don't want to keep training this, uh, trying to put this method into the dog and get the light bulb effect. Because you won't get the light bulb effect. So now I, I have to do something different being that Nicholas doesn't handle the dog. I'm going to show you what we did to get this effect. So this is called chase the man. Let the dog run at the man. The guy runs around. He loses a little respect for uh, the agitator. And then the agitator taps him and piss him off. But for surely, if this was a stranger, I would have gotten success without having to change my method. I'm a grandmaster and I read dogs. Now, I would love to... I personally would be standing here just praising my dog instead of holding the camera to show you guys what we're doing. Before you crack the whip, I want you to run all the way up here. We're going to end this video, but show you the ending result because this is a part of the DVD that is now for sale. If you're interested in getting a DVD to teach your puppy how to uh, bark and bite then you should order this dvd because you have to remember nicholas is his friend and it's to show you that a dog will still bite and have that strong civil aggression if he come from the correct genetics with the right method well this is the method Watch Watching him. Yeah, good boy. All right, try to get touch his butt and I'm gonna put him up. Come around all the way around me in a circle. Go all the way around my, no, go back the other way. He watching you. Good boy, go back the other way. Watch him. He don't know, see? Go around me. Go, go. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, good boy, yeah. Good boy.